Now, whenever you're doing a basement over, the main concern that you always have to worry about is moisture. And that's why you had me install this plastic panel? Right, we did this a few weeks ago. What we're looking for is any condensation that should collect on the plastic. If it collects between the plastic and the foundation, that means the foundation's not sealed. Next thing I look for, any condensation that should collect on the surface of the plastic. That's nice and dry. So we're dry, we're all set. Well, we're all set except for one thing. I saw a couple of rust marks right here from these steel ties in the walls. Now you've got a few of them that the water's coming in here. So before we get started, I'm gonna show you how to plug these holes from the inside. All right, Brady, take the center punch, put it on that tie and try to drive it through. They only have to go in about a quarter to a half an inch. To plug the holes, we're gonna mix up some hydraulic cement. It's really fine and it's ideal for this application. Before I apply the hydraulic cement to the hole, I want you to take that bottle and mist the hole with water. The reason I want you to wet the concrete is I don't want it to take all the water out of my hydraulic cement, so it'll dry evenly. Now once I put it in the hole, it's gonna actually expand inside the hole, and it's gonna fill that gap up so water can't leak through. This is what we're gonna insulate your foundation with. It's a two foot wide by eight foot high by two inches thick sheet of polystyrene. It has a tongue and groove joint, so when the pieces go together, it'll be nice and tight. This is a foam board adhesive. It's gonna stick the foam right to the foundation, specifically formulated for this application. Okay, now just tip the top into that space up above, push it into the corner, and hold it against the foundation. All right, next sheet. Now we have to think about how you're gonna attach your drywall to the wall. And how are we gonna do that? We're actually gonna make a wood grid system using this one by three spruce board. First thing I did is I measured to the top of the foundation over here. And then I measured down about three inches and I put a line over here. I then measured up off the floor about three inches and placed another line. Then I divided the space in half and put a center line. I divided the top space in half, put another line. Divided the bottom space in half with another line. I got it, so we're gonna have five horizontal nailing strips. Right, next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna snap some chalk lines all the way across the wall and apply our wood strips. All right, here's how we're gonna attach the spruce boards to the wall. This is called a spring spike. It doesn't have a point on the end like a regular nail, but it has a little bend on the end. It acts like a spring. When I drive this in through the concrete, that spring will try to straighten out, holding the spike into the wall. The spring spike is four inches long. I have to drill a hole for it. The hole has to be five inches deep because I don't want the spring spike to bottom out when I drive it home. To drill the holes, I'm using a hammer drill with a 3 16 masonry bit. All right, that's great. Now, Brady, you could actually install the wall board right to the horizontals, but I want to create more depth to accommodate the electrical. To do that, we're going to run more one by three boards, only this time vertically right on the surface of the horizontal. And to attach them, I'm going to use drywall screws. Now, we're attaching our pieces of one by three vertically, 16 inches on center, to fasten our wall board to them. What do you think, Brady? Tom, this looks excellent. Well, now what we have are two chases. We can run a wire down from the ceiling vertically or horizontally behind the uprights. By building the wall out, we've also created more depth in the wall, so now we can use a standard electrical outlet. If we want to mount it here, we dig out a little bit of insulation and then put it in up against the one by. Mm -hmm. 